Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Yazeli, a joint postgraduate student at Songtan University and Institute of Computing Technology of Chinese Academy of Sciences. It's very pleased indeed to make a presentation, and our paper's name is a multimodal fusion model based on hybrid attention mechanism for gesture recognition. I will talk about the background. The model, the experiment, and the conclusion for our research. Well, gesture recognition is essential in the field of human-computer interaction, and it has a wide range of applications, such as the equipment of virtual environment, seeing language recognition, intelligent navigation, and so on. However. Most gesture recognition methods are based on one modality, uh, is especially video modality. They recognize gestures by extracting features and training models in video information as the figure. But gesture recognition with high accuracy is a difficult task because some tiny gestures, individual differences, and the complex observation conditions. Which are changeable and difficult to spot, and most methods only have one modality information, so it has some disadvantages: barren data, poor stability, and unstable accuracy. So, most researchers have paid more attention to multimodal learning to increase the diversity of information, improve the. Accuracy of the model and alleviate the instability. As the figure is shown, multimodal learning is to process multiple modalities information and design a, a network for the task. Besides, multifusion, multimodal fusion is a critical procedure for multimodal learning. The multimodal fusion methods can be divided. Into three categories based on the stage in which fusion occurs during the associated procedures, namely early fusion, late or、uh, late fusion, and hybrid fusion. In recent years, most studies have focused on hybrid fusion that allows fuse, fusing multimodal information on different layers of the model. The hybrid multimodal fusion methods can be Divided into two classes broadly,、uh, one of the classes is the simple concatenation、uh, methods, and the other is attention-based methods. However, simple concatenation methods may deprive the interaction of modalities, and the ordinary attention-based methods do not explore the modality、uh, modalities associations from different perspectives. So we proposed a model based on the hybrid attention mechanism of multimodal fusion for gesture recognition, which can excavate the relationship between modalities from different perspectives, fuse various information in different fusion stages, and achieve high accuracy of recognition. Finally, we use our method to fuse and enhance the extracted features of three modalities. And、uh, concatenate enhanced features to form a fusion layer. We send the fusion layer to the fully connected module and get the output that is one of twenty-one trans gesture categories.、Uh, categories and the network architecture is shown in figure. And the hybrid attention mechanism proposed by us contains two different attention mechanisms: the cross attention for interaction between multi-dimensional features, and the single attention for interaction between one-dimensional and multi-dimensional features. The cross attention mechanism is achieved by equation one to equation four. The original multi-dimensional features are called are coded x and y. Their dimensions are represented at the bottom left of the 
of the page. And we use equation one to do a global average polling in the channels and uh, get the temporary uh, channel, value, uh, channel value of Z, where H, W, and C means uh, ha the height wise channels of feature maps. Then use softmax function in equation two to get the attention values beta x and beta y, where the w1, w2 means trainable uh, parameters. Finally, as the figure is shown, we use the uh, we use the attention values to cross multiply with the original features according to equation three and equation four and get the enhanced features. In this way, we can explore the cor correlation of highly correlated modalities to enhance each other from the channel dimension and improve the ability of the model to represent features. The single attention is achieved by equation 5 to equation 9. The original multidimensional feature is coded X and the one-dimensional feature is coded Y. Firstly, we rescale the X and get the temporary feature XR and adjust the dimensions of XR and Y by using equation 5 and equation 6, where the WX, WY, BX, BY are the trainable parameters. Then we get the attention value alpha by using equation 7, where the capital T means transpose operation. Finally, we use the attention a value alpha to multiply the original multidimensional feature X in the channels and get the enhanced multidimensional feature as the figure showed. In this way, we can make use of the relationship between modalities and uh, alleviate the interference between modalities. Uh, this part is about our experiment. We evaluate our method on the Charler Montabona dataset, and it contains three modalities video, audio, and skeleton. We use the same method as reference paper, MoJob, to process the data as uh, Table 1 shown, build a network for each modality, and use the features obtained before the output layer to do the subsequent fission. Video is specifically uh, divided into left and right hand modalities according to mock job. And we can get right hand RGB and DIPS modality, left hand RGB and DIPS modality. The video fission procedure as the figure shown, there are three fission stages. And the video modality is main data of this data set. So, Every group of experiments contains the video. And our baselines are mode job, mode out, blocks, three different multimodal fusion methods. Firstly, we use our method between different modalities when only fusing two modalities. The results are shown in table two and table three. The CD in the table means that we use the fusion method on the RGB and deep modalities fusion stage, and the others are similar. From the results of these tables, we can know the accuracy of different fusion when fusing two modalities. Our method outperforms the baselines except the VA, which has a slight flunk fluctuation. Then, we use our method between two modalities when fusing three modalities. Uh, the results are shown in table 4 and use our method on different modalities at the same time when fusing three modalities. The results are shown in table 5. From the results of these tables, we can know the accuracy of our performance uh, uh, other methods which is proved that the proposed hybrid attention magazine can make for use of the complementary complementarity uh, and balance the interference between modalities. Finally, we do a conclusion. We proposed the hybrid attention magazine for 
a multimodal fusion. Then we will continue research the multimodal fusion based on multi-task learning. There are, there are part of our reference sentences. Thank you.